Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, right now let's take a look at the gold market as usual. As you can see, um, recent couple of sessions have, haven't brought really something new here, and it's because market is going around the 1306 area. And um, actually on other assets, on for example on the euro currency, we have the, approximately the same picture. Since market stands at very important level, that is the natural support resistance and uh, this is some kind of the edge, the border between the short-term bullish and bearish market. Why? This is mostly because of uh, feature of uh, of the borders of the previous consolidation. So if you can see, actually here we have some kind of the triangle patient was forming, and market has broken and down. Now it is retesting the lower border of this patient, and the uh, specific of this. Uh, natural support resistance lines that are coming from come from the previous consolidations is a special some kind of the strength and uh, some kind of the um, indicator for the further upper for the for the further uh, market behavior because usually price protects the previously abandoned consolidations. And if market just retests this bar and turn to the downside, this is treats as the normal action. So it's retracement, reaching of this level and turning down. But if market returns back inside of this consolidation, this is quite another story because this return, potential return, will not be treated as the as the bearish as the, some action inside of the bearish trend, but this will become something greater. So this action we, could, we won't be able to treat anymore as a retracement and this will be not natural behavior for the bearish market. This will be changing on the short term setup, changing on the short term trend and usually when the market returns back inside of the previous consolidation it moves to the opposite direction, opposite border of this consolidation. That means that if market will return back above this area, about 13 or 6, it will have chance to reach as far as 3060, 3075 area, so it could return back to these previous tops on the gold market. That's really what could happen. That's why currently it's very important what will happen around this level. The same, approximately the same setup we have on the euro currency. There we also have this broken triangle and market right now is calling around 11140 on the euro currency. That's uh, also to be some moment of truth. So what we will get the nearest future on the markets across the board. On the 4 hour time frame chart guys, our yesterday setup of the double repo has worked nice. So you can see market has reached minimum target of this thrust up. This double repo has worked nice, but as you can see market uh, has limited downward action by just minimum target. So just minimum target has been achieved, the market return rate back up. So it means that it's not done yet with the probable upward direction. So here, even as we have got the double repo, and the following action tells us that it's not really very simple situation here. This is not yet the reversal. And overall action mostly points on the bullish perspectives rather than bearish drop here. At least currently, guys, until we will not get the clear signs of the bearish reversal and downward continuation, it's better to not take to, to not to, to not take short positions because market for example could form some kind of the upper butterfly or something of that sort. Usually uh, if, if bearish market reaches such sort of the levels and strong level uh, and it forms reversal pattern here, normal bearish market should start in bearish action. But this hasn't happened. Yes, market has dropped but then returned back up. That's why maybe we will get something greater, some big, larger pattern here, maybe some kind of a double top will be formed or something of that sort. It's, this is possible, but uh, we still need to wait when this pattern will be formed. 
if even will become right and if, if even market will really form here uh, bearish pattern we just need to get it first and do not try to anticipate it in the current circumstances it's very, very dangerous situation uh, because current action mostly tells us that market probably will show another leg up and uh, reach some high levels because this action guys it's not really typical for the bearish market this is more, more looks like the hint on a possible upward continuation so that's why we think currently we should wait a bit for results of the non-farm payrolls release and uh, let's see what the final reaction will be on these numbers that's after that we probably could make the decision on what really we could get on the gold market so that's cur our current view so that being said market right now stands at a very important level and it's better to not anticipate this breakout so if breakout will happen we will get a lot of time for taking the long position if market will fail to break it and drop we need to wait the clear pattern that will become the background of this drop and some bearish reversal pattern and after that we will think about the taking short position because taking the position right at the equilibrium moment is very dangerous especially with the elections right on the 8th of November so it's very soon so that's our current position that risky and uh, really turmoil moments is better to sit on the hands and wait a bit what will happen